We're going to talk about the Lewis dot structure of BEH2, which is known as beryllium hydride. Now, in order to draw the structure, we need to find the valence electrons of the different atoms present in this molecule. Now, the electronic configuration of beryllium is 1s2, 2s2. Its valence shell is the second shell, the outermost shell, and the number of electrons are uh, is 2 because uh, valence electrons are those electrons which are present in the outermost shell, uh, outermost shell, the valence shell, and its valence shell is the second shell, right? But see, right now it's not going to make bonds. Why? See, if you draw the orbital diagram of 2s, it is going to be in a couplet form. See, it is in pairing, the electrons are paired. So, what should we do? See, in the second shell, we've also got uh, a, a different subshell apart from S, which is P. So you've got a vacant 2P subshell having three orbitals, vacant th three orbitals. And now there can be a shifting of electrons. So one of the electrons from the 2S subshell jumps from its place and sits on uh, one of the orbitals of 2P subshell. Okay. And now these two are in unpaired form. So you've got uh, first and second. So they've got two unpaired electrons. Okay, and now they can make two covalent bonds. So this is the concept. Most of them, most of the teachers on, even on YouTube, do not teach this. And talking about hydrogen, yeah, you guys know that its valence shell is the first shell because it is the first element on the periodic table having just a single electron. So just a single valence electron. Its orbital diagram is this. It's already uh, in a non-paired form and it can take uh, uh, the electron of a different species, in this case beryllium's and beryllium's electron will sit here and it will be paired and then hydrogen will gain a electronic stable electronic configuration of 1s2 and hence it will complete its duplet, d-u-p-l-e-t, duplet. Now let's dive into the structural part. So beryllium has two valence electrons, Be, one on the right side and one on the left, and hydrogen having just a single valence electrons, also one on the right and one on the left. Now hydrogen wants to complete its duplet and wants to gain 1s2 electronic, con stable electronic configuration of 1s2 after bond formation. Always remember, after bond formation. So here will be a single bond. Similarly here also and now hydrogen has completed its duplet and has gained 1s2 which is stable But what about beryllium? See beryllium has 1 2 3 4 4 electrons after bond formation, but according to the Lewis rule Every element or atom wants to complete its duplet or octet whereas in this case it has uh, achieved neither so we call these compounds as hypovalent compounds. Why? Because it is not having eight electrons in its valence shell after bond formation. But these do exist. So these are the exceptions, one of the, one of the exception of Lewis octet rule. And this is your structure of BEH2 in a linear form. Right? Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.